Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today as we spend these few moments with our Good Shepherd. And may the Holy Spirit bless us as we consider a word today that may not necessarily come to your mind very quickly when asked to describe Christianity in one word. Our word is struggle. Now, I really appreciate St. Paul's honesty in our reading for today. It's from 1 Corinthians chapter 7, starting with verse 15. I do not understand my own actions, for I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. For I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do not want is what I do. The reason I appreciate that so much is because I thought I was the only one. I thought I was the only one struggling with my sinful nature and becoming frustrated that I just can't seem to get a grip on it. I keep doing those very same sins that I have done and I'm trying to avoid. And I keep failing to do the very good things that I've wanted to do and I make resolutions to do and decisions to do and I just don't get those done either. I thought I was the only one. And you probably have thought you were the only one too. But that's sin. Our condition that is with us. We are born with it. And it shows its ugly head each and every day from simple overindulgence to the, the very real damage that we do to ourselves and to others. Sin is always a part of us. And, and we do things that we don't want to do. We fly off the handle. We, we say things that we regret or we don't do the things that we want to do. Stopping to help, taking time with someone who needs it, or just caring. We know that's a part of our existence. It's an existential struggle, if you will. And it does get frustrating. And it was frustrating to Paul. And he, he, you can just see him throwing his hands up and he says, who will rescue me? from this body, this constant circle of sin and shame and trying again only to fail. Who will help me? Paul answers his own question, and for us as well. He says, thanks be to God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Because Jesus came and he broke that cycle of sin by substituting his perfect life in its place. Now, yes, we are going to struggle with sin for as long as we are on this earth, but it no longer defines who you are. Your sin no longer determines who you are or determines your destiny. And you have been promised to be the ultimate victor because one day you will look back and you will see your sin disposed of forever, and you will no longer ever, ever have that struggle with sin. What a glorious victory that's going to be when our struggles of today are not even the distant memories of tomorrow. We pray. Dear Father, help me daily win those victories over sin through the victorious power of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, my friends, keep on struggling, for it shows that the new life is living and working within you.